Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and today I bring you another unbooking uh, of a book that I bought at half price recently. Yes, I am cheap steak. Bite me. Uh, that I really wanted to show you because it's from a company that's incredibly dear to me, a game that I absolutely adore and played for many years with my friends and I haven't spoken about for a very, very long time. I am talking about Pathfinder and in this particular case is the second edition and the limited edition, you know, the deluxe edition of the core rulebook. This is not a review because people have already done loads of reviews of this game and I don't see the point. I just wanted to show you what an absolutely gorgeous book this actually is. So welcome to the GMS Magazine and Booking videos. Pathfinder has done incredibly well since they started. You know, since Paizo decided to take 3.5 and turn it into 3.52 or whatever, with Pathfinder they've been doing really, really well. They have followed a very inclusive agenda, they have followed an agenda of diversity, their artwork has been absolutely fantastic, their line of uh, Pathfinder Adventures has been great, the incredible amount of material both free and paid for that they have released is just outstanding. One of the things that got my respect when they decided to release Pathfinder 2nd edition is that it took some jumps and leaps that people complained an awful lot about. They changed the game in ways that people thought is going to ruin our experience. Well, Pathfinder 2 kind of works very, very well. And Pathfinder, you know, Paizo continues to deliver absolutely wonderful, wonderful quality products. And that's why I wanted to show you this book. I've been waiting to get the Pathfinder 2nd Edition core rulebook for a very long time because it's, it's quite expensive and I don't have a lot of money and, you know, I'm a bit of a snob and I like beautiful shiny things like this Deluxe Edition, which is why I wanted to show you. Um, is this game, you know, this book, this edition going to be worth the amount of money you have to pay to get your hands on it? Um, well, that's kind of debatable because the only difference is with the standard edition is that the cover is a leatherette so the beautiful red and uh, golden cover and it comes with not one but two bookmarks which to me this is absolutely delightful because I always forget to use them and I really really like them. The tome is a insanely hefty 600 pages of content which to me I mean, more than 600 pages, but you're part of them. This is 633, 35, and you want to read every single word, which is like a lot of it. But, my goodness, there isn't a single page inside this book that is not gorgeous beyond words. And every single page is being absolutely filled with <laughs> things like this. I mean... Come on. This is also an absolutely fantastic evolution from the style that was set with, with first edition Pathfinder. And it works really well. They have also taken their time to create a very beautiful index that accompanies us throughout the whole book, making it very easy to differentiate in what chapter of the book you actually are which is brilliant because if you look at the book from the front you can also see where each chapter is and which are the longest chapters in the whole book it might look like a silly thing it may sound silly but this makes life easy when you want to find anything at all you know in other games whenever i need to find a magic um, uh, chapter of the book i need to be flicking pages uh, all the time because i don't have bookmarks like this the illustrations as always are just they're just absolutely gorgeous really gorgeous and what i like about the layout 
is uh, is actually very easy to read. They have taken the space, which is probably why this thing is going over six hundred pages. It, they, they've taken the space to separate everything in a way that means that people like me with with you know reading difficulties will be able to graze our eyes over this and not feel strained or that we're having too much information thrown at us all the time, which is brilliant. With all the support that Pathfinder 2 is getting from Paizo and the community, with uh, the, um, the Pathfinder adventures that are coming out every single month, of which I am subscribed since the very beginning, um, being able to give you a camp two campaigns a year, you know, every adventure is six, six issues, six months. This is wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful. And the fact that despite all the apprehension that to some degree I can understand, this game has lived through to being able to evolve the Pathfinder first experience in a meaningful and interesting way and in new ways and in, include, you know, things like ancestry to characters. I, I love that Pies has been able to take that risk and do it well. And that's the sort of thing that to me makes supporting the company to be well worth it. So is this book worth it? Well, to me it was because I paid $40 for this. And trust me, for $40 just to have it, it's worth it. If you're also going to play the game, which I hope I will at some point, hell yeah, absolutely yes. So, you know, if you're considering giving another game a go, a game that's, you know, plenty of material out there, Pathfinder is certainly one you should have a go at. And you can get your hands on this edition at an affordable price. Please do not hesitate. Let me know what you think, if you have played already the game or if there is something that you would like to do or see for this game coming up, the comments are always welcome to your opinions. Thank you once again, and until the next time, I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.